Hey everyone, welcome to One and All Kids. We are in our last week of our Stack It Up series and I can't wait to learn some more with you. Last week, we learned about God making the birds and the fish and this week, we are learning about God's best creation. Let's go. Worship time is here. Worshiping God together is an amazing thing that we can do. But did you know that when we worship, it's also something between just you and God? Worship is both a time to sing and dance with friends, but also a time to tell God how much you love him, just between you two. When we sing our first song, focus on telling God what's in your heart. Let's sing. So like, no matter what I know, no matter where we go, he loves us. It's awesome. I love praising Jesus, and I love that we can worship him and have a relationship with him. One of the best parts of worship is that we can all come together and praise Jesus as one big group. Praising Jesus with other people is incredible because we get to see that we aren't alone in loving Jesus. Other people love him and praise him too. Let's all sing together now. There is only one who can do anything amazing. There is only one who can do so amazing His name is Jesus He is the strongest His name is Jesus And He is oh so good
someone who loves me like he does, like he does. There is only one who loves me. Jesus loves me. Sing with me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Bye friends! That song is amazing, and I love that we all get to tell Jesus how much we love him together. We get to sing and dance some more at the end of service, but now we get to hear our true Bible story from Ollie. So grab your Bible, grab a seat, and get ready to learn with us. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, here we go. Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. I was just getting my hammock ready. You can take the best rest in a hammock. Oh, that reminds me. There is some rest time in today's story. <laughs> but before we rest, we have a big story to finish telling. Do you want to help me build it? Aha, great. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. But first, we need to remember a few things about our true story from the Bible about how God made everything. On day one, God made light and dark. And on day two, God made the sky above the water. Then on day three, God made the land, plants, and sea. And on day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. And then on day five, God made the fish and the birds. 
The earth was full of so many beautiful, wonderful things. God saw everything he had made, and it was good. Say, it's good. Ready? It's good. Que bueno. But do you think God was finished yet? <laughs> no way. God made even more. On day six, God said, let the land produce every kind of animal. Oh, wow. Do you know what that means? It means God made so many different wonderful animals to live on the land. Oh, let's look at this one right here. What is this? <laughs> yes, it's a cat. They have such soft fur. Now, what does a cat say? <laughs> right. Let's all meow like a cat. Ready? Meow. Meow. <laughs> Good. Let's look at another animal God made. Oh, this one you can ride on. What is it? <laughs> it's a horse. Now, what does a horse say? <laughs> all right. Let's all neigh like a horse. Ready? <laughs> God made horses. But even after making all these wonderful animals, God still was not finished. God wanted to make the very most important thing in all of creation. Hmm, do you know what it is? Oh, I think I heard someone say it. God made people. God made the very first man. His name was Adam. Everyone say, hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. <laughs> and God made the very first woman. Her name was Eve. Everyone say, hi, Eve. Hi, Eve. People are the most special thing God made because God made people to know him. God made every person so special. Point to your eyes. God made people with blue eyes and brown eyes and green eyes and so many different beautiful colors. Now touch your head. God made people with all kinds of hair, straight and curly and short and long and no hair at all. And God made people who are good at all kinds of different things like uh, running fast or making yummy food or telling awesome stories. Huh? <laughs> God made people. When God made people on day six, the whole world was complete. God looked at all he had made. And this time God saw that it was very good. Can you say, it's very good? Ready? It's very good. God made the whole world. And then on day seven, what do you think God did? <laughs> God rested from all his work. Let's all take a deep breath. <sighs> and look at all of the things that God made. Wow. It is very good. <laughs> now let's remember what we learned today. On day six, God made all of the land animals and God made people. Only God can do that. God is so creative and powerful. God made everything. Then on day seven, God rested from his work. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. Now, I'm off for a rest in my hammock. <sighs> Adios. Who made everything? That's right. God made everything. Good job, Otis. Now, let's review our Bible story from today and see if we can remember everything that we learned. If you know the answers, shout them out as loud as you can! 
Today, we learned about the last days of creation. On day six, did God make the animals of the land or did he make giant toys and playgrounds? <gasps> Ooh, I love giant toys and playgrounds. Me too. Ooh. <gasps> That's right, he made all the land animals. He made elephants and mice and cats and dogs and even the hippos too. After that, he made something really special. Did God make those edible flower arrangements made out of fruit? Or did God make humans? I do love those edible arrangements, but our friends are telling us he made humans. Humans! And that's right. And God made us in his own image. That means we reflect who God is just by being created. And on the last day, God did something that everyone should love to do. Did he rest? Or did he throw a massive creation party with streamers and a DJ and some really loud speakers and some lights? Hmm. <gasps> That's right, everybody. God rested. He made so many great things and he loved it all so much. He wanted to rest and take it all in. Great job for remembering our story, everyone. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, sorry, Otis. Hey. I was just trying to be like God, you know, and, oh. and take a rest. I just wanted to wake you up. Oh, thank you. Who made everything? <gasps> That's right. God made everything. My favorite way to remember that God made everything is by remembering verses in the Bible. Our memory verse for this month comes from Genesis 1 31, and it says, God. God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. Genesis 1, 31. Wow, now let's all say it together. But, yeah, we say it really quietly, like God was resting on the seventh day. Otis, I couldn't really hear you. What were you saying? Can we whisper the verse quietly, like God was resting? On the seventh day. That sounds good. Say our verse quietly with us. Ready, everyone? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. One, two, two three. three. God saw everything, everything he had made, and, and it was very good. good. Genesis 1, 31. Wow, that was awesome. Great job, everybody. I like all your cool whispers. <laughs> now it's time for our big pause. This is the time where we pause our bodies and our minds and think about who God is and what he does in our lives. Pause the video and take some time to think about this question. What is your favorite part about how God made you? Answer this question with your friends around you when we pause. Okay, here comes our big pause in three, two, one. One big pause. Oh, whoa, that was a good pause. I love it when we do that. Me too, Otis. Now we will close our time by praying. You can pause the video and talk with your friends about any prayer requests you have, or you can pray along with us. Yeah, praying is fun. It's just when we get to talk to God about all of the things that we have going on in our lives, and we can share everything with him. That's right. Let's close our eyes and pray together. Hmm. God, you are so creative and powerful. You made so many things for us to enjoy. Day and night, the deep blue sea, the big wide sky, mountains, rivers, colorful fish, soaring birds, every kind of animal, and me. God, you made everything, including all of our friends here today. Thank you for making us and loving us too. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Hey, everyone. Now it's time for offering. The cool part about offering is that you can offer a lot of things. Most of the time, we give back to God by giving our money. But you can also give back to God by giving up your time. 
This means instead of choosing to play with your toys, you can choose to go help other people like Jesus says to do. When we give our offering of time, we show others that they are important to us, more important than spending time by ourselves. And that's exactly what God tells us to do. Talk to your parents about what it means to give your offering today. Now it's time for our last worship song. Stand on up to your feet and let's worship. I'm reading my B-I-B-L-E And this is what it says to me It tells me that I'm never ever alone I'm learning how J-E-S-U-S came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this, let's go When you ask, he cares When you seek, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door when you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. I'm reading my B I B L E, and this is what it says to me. It tells me that I'm never ever alone. I'm learning how. J-E-S-U-S came down to us and gave his best Without a doubt the best friend you'll ever know Our God knows exactly what I need So I remember this, let's go When you ask, he cares When you seek, he's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens up the door When you ask he cares when you seek, he's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, he cares. When you seek, he's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. Our God knows exactly what I need. So I remember this. Let's go. When you ask, He cares. When you seek, He's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. When you ask, he cares when you seek, he's there. When you knock, 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 God opens up the door. I love worshiping with you. Come back and invite some friends to come with you to learn more about Jesus. When we invite friends to church, we are showing them how fun and amazing Jesus is. We have fun learning about Jesus and we want them to have fun learning about Jesus too. This week, tell your parents someone who you would like to invite to church and then have them come along with you. Until then, I wanna send you off into the week with one hope and one life in Christ. Bye, everybody.